Hey, Isaiah, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. You seem to come out pretty aggressive there in the at the start of the second half. Did you feel like you guys needed kind of a catalyst and you were trying to be that guy? Or um, I wouldn't necessarily say I was trying to be the guy. I just felt like we – the whole team needed to push uh, offensively and defensively. And then I was able to um, get some lo a little space and transition to get um, an easy basket and then get to the line. So I feel like that was good to get a punch on offense in. And then defensively, we just played, we just played with a fight. We just had a fight to us. And that led to a couple of stops and led us to getting back into the game. 36 minutes for you without a turnover. Obviously some important plays are in the second half. How did you feel like you kind of handled that sort of leading role tonight? Um, I thought I did a good job. I thought, like, I mean, you just got to stay composed. Valpo is a, Valpo is a really tough team. They switch, they switch everything on the defense end, and we was um, doing some things, um, like some slip outs and some fades, just to kind of um, mess them up. But like, yeah, just taking care of the ball. That's huge as a point guard, especially when they're putting pressure on you. They're switching things. Their defense is kind of a little junky. Um, I feel like not only me, I had zero turnovers. Brandon had zero turnovers. So I feel like our guards did a pretty good job of staying composed and um, just controlling the, controlling the game. You talked about staying poised. Did the Clemson game kind of help you at all in this one? Uh, yeah, I feel like Clemson kind of gave me a glimpse of, like, Florida State uh, my freshman year and VCU. Yeah. We kind of played them early, like third, fourth game of the season. So I kind of felt like that was kind of the same game, and um, we weren't – we weren't used to that pressure. It was our second game of the season. And um, that kind of, like, built our confidence where we, we have to, like, be strong with the ball. And next day in practice, uh, we were just working on just taking care of the ball. And um, this week, me, Ethan, Brandon, Sash, we were um, doing ball handling drills just before practice every day. And I felt like that really um, led to us just controlling the ball and just being strong with it. All right. How valuable can this be now to have won a game like this when – you guys collectively didn't shoot as well as you would have liked, didn't play as well as you would have liked, probably. Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes the ball's not going to go in the basket. Um, you got to find ways to um, do other things to uh, win the game, and I feel like we did a good job of that, of having a fight to us in the second half. And um, we obviously know we got really good shooters on our team, and like I said, like the ball's not going to go in every time, so what are you going to do to um, get stops? What are you going to do? offensively if you're not making shots, like moving without the ball, like just different stuff like that. Like you can dominate the game even if the ball doesn't go in. I feel like um, we did a good job of just being the aggressor the second half. Valpo was the aggressor the first half, and we knew it was a long game, but we were able to just come out and have a fight to us in the second half, and that led us to get an ugly win. <laughs> Thank you, Isaiah. Yes, sir. Mike. Yeah, I say it. Just when, when the ball's not going in the basket, not only shooting, but from the free throw line, you know, why was this team able to kind of maintain its composure through all those difficulties? Um, yeah, it, it was a struggle, like you said, from the free throw line, overall from the field. Um, obviously, like, we practice free throws every day after practice, and sometimes it's not going to go in, like, like I said. So uh, you just got to find other ways to, um, like I said, be the aggressor and um, – I know I missed, personally missed three free throws, so I probably got to go do some sprints tomorrow or something like that. But, but yeah, like like I said, we just had a fight to us, and I was able, we was able to get the win. Um, I guess what was the – coming into this year, what was the one thing that you wanted to, to, to learn from last year and really really apply to your game this season? Um, just playing at a better pace. Um, obviously, the more the more minutes you play, the more comfortable you're going to be out on the floor. And um, I, I felt like like last year I was I, have, I played like a lot for a freshman. And this year coming in, like I played 36 minutes tonight. Just having a just having a pace to myself this season, um, I feel like that can really give me some easy baskets in transition. They can get easy baskets for Brandon Sash like on the wing, and then when Eric, Eric and Jaden get back, the same as well. So, um, yeah, just having a pace to myself and always just staying confident uh, with my shot and just being aggressive more offensively and obviously defensively, just constantly putting pressure on the ball and just making it hard on the opposing point guard. And, and just one other one. I mean, you guys got a lot, yeah, a lot of young players on the floor, but was this a night needed a little bit more maturity, maybe from you and Sasha to, to kind of eat the, uh, pull this game out? Yeah, definitely. I feel like me and Sasha kind of, from a guard perspective, we kind of took control and um, 
at halftime, we just we just said, like, we got to stick to it. Like, they were playing harder than us uh, in the first half. And we just said we had to be the aggressor in the second half. And it started defensively, just being physical, just being into the ball and just knowing what they were doing on offense. And um, from an offensive standpoint, just controlling the pace, um, not rushing anything, getting what we want on offense, feeding Trey and Zach. And uh, I felt like Trey had a really good game tonight. And uh, he he made it easy for all of us. We knew they were doubling in the post. Um, every time he got in, that led to some open, easy threes for us as well. So, Thank you. Yes, sir. Anyone else for Isaiah? Joe? I had one, yeah. Isaiah, good game today. Congrats on the win. Uh, was there a certain point in time that was a turning point for you guys or a certain moment where you knew, okay, we got this, we're going to win now? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a certain point. Um, I feel like I keep saying this, but we just we just had a different fight to us in the second half, and like we were just more intense. We just wasn't ready to play in the first half. You know, we knew if we got stops, the first couple possessions in the second half, we knew we was gonna have a chance to get back into the game. Like it's a long game, 40 minutes. Um, we knew we wouldn't, we didn't play as well as we wanted to in the first half, but. We stuck to it. We stayed together. And that was the biggest thing. We stayed together, stayed composed, and um, we were able to get it done. Thank you. Anyone else? Great. Thank you, Isaiah. Thank you.